Welcome to this demonstration of Printer Excel. Uh, before we get started, I just want to mention a limitation in the demo version if you're using that, and that is uh, it will only put in uh, over 50 lines into Excel. Um, if you have like five columns and 10 lines, that's the maximum we will pull over. Uh, if you have the real version, the purchased version, then you have no limitations. I've prepared a sample file that we're going to work with for this demo. It's a simple file, it has uh, some animals in columns. Uh, it has a header up here, page number, and uh, down here we have a copyright notice at the, at the bottom. So we need to clean this up and get it into uh, columns, and uh, that's the whole idea uh, behind Printer Excel. One quick note before we get started, uh, this is a PDF file created with Adobe Acrobat Pro. Um, some PDF writers will not be able to convert into an Excel spreadsheet using Printer Excel. So you have to check uh, what PDF writers that will work. Uh, so some documents will just simply not uh, convert into anything. Uh, you can also print from other um, softwares than PDF. It could be any accounting software or uh, a Word document or any kind of other document that will work out fine. Okay, so I'm going to print this uh, to Excel. I'm going to launch my print dialog and uh, I have selected the printer drive already. Click print. And you should see the Print to Excel options pop up after the splash screen. And this is the screen where we would set up uh, the configuration to correctly print this uh, PDF file into Excel. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, some of the options that we have for Print to Excel. And the most important one is this cell position offset. That's the one you're going to work with 95% of the time and it determines how much data goes into each column. So if we look at our spreadsheet right now we have what seems to be one column here, we have one column here, maybe we have two here uh, or maybe uh, we have two here also. Um, I think that the way that this data should be uh, presented in Excel is that this is one column, there's another one, another one and another one. So we have four columns and three rows. That's what I want to get into Excel. Um, but this cell position offset will actually, we have to adjust this number because it will actually affect how much data goes into each cell. And so this is also why it's saying that right here, we should use it by increments of 100. And once you get close, you can fine tune it. We also have some other uh, interesting things here on the general tab. It's like resize cells to fit the data that's in it, remove empty rows, like the empty rows that we're seeing right here. We probably don't want them into the Excel file, but if we do, we don't want to check it, right? Then we have remote, uh, remove empty columns, same thing, uh, we'll remove columns. And move to top left cell, which is A1, which means that the data will start at A1. We also have some other uh, default output directory uh, where the file will be saved or else it's just going to save it in the document folder. And finally, uh, this can be checked as a default profile and I'll get back to profiles in, in just a little while. Okay, let's take a look at some of the other tabs. We have a font tab where we can apply a special formatting to the cell the cells. Uh, it's not used very much but it's uh, definitely an option. Number format is how are we going to interpret uh, number formats and how many decimal places do we want. The date format, how we're going to show dates. We have a data mani manipulation and that's where we can go in and say we have set up rules what we're going to delete or areas that we're going to clear. And finally, we have input settings here if uh, they contain dashes or not. All right, so let's go back to the general tab and start setting up Printer Excel. 
The first thing I want to do before I start setting up anything is I want to create a profile. So that way I can uh, later pull that profile if I get a similar spreadsheet or similar document like this and I have all the settings saved then. So I'm just going to uh, create a new one here, so like a sample. And uh, now it's this is the profile. So uh, everything I put in here will be saved into it. So I wanted to uncheck these just so you could see how that uh, will affect the, the output. And uh, this is pretty much what I want to try and uh, print uh, to start with. Okay, let's take a look at what the final uh, Excel spreadsheet is going to look like with these settings. If I hit OK, it will uh, save the file uh, in Excel and Preview will just launch the Excel spreadsheet straight onto the screen here. So that's what I'm going to click now. And here it comes up and we'll take a look. Uh, we'll see that it, uh, it didn't do exactly what we wanted it put animals up here we need to get rid of that we need to get rid of the page uh, it looks like it thought all these were like uh, the same column and only the the chicken and turtle and snake to the right would be uh, in, in a separate column so we definitely need to change something on this uh, cell uh, offset here so i'm just going to shut this down here and uh, try and uh, change the number here to 100. And uh, so you can try it maybe to 200 and, and then see what happens in a 100. I know that 100 is going to be pretty close to where I want it to be. So I click on preview again. And as we see now, it, it looks much better, right? So I have the four columns that I wanted. I have. Uh, the cat, dog, and owl in one, and so that's a nice column that we got there. The next one, the horse, the seagull, and the rabbit, and uh, so that's also good. So it all looks good. So now we just need to delete some of these columns here, and um, and some of the empty rows. We have lots of empty rows here at the bottom. There's some almost a thousand or something. So we definitely need to clean that up. So I'm going to close this down and uh, we're going to resize the, ce the cells, remove empty rows and do other things here just to clean it completely up. Uh, one thing to note is that once we start uh, entering uh, different uh, options here, it will actually take a, a print to Excel a little longer to create the Excel file. So just be patient. It might take 5-10 seconds. Uh, depending on how fast your computer is so I'm just gonna hit preview here and uh, we'll have to wait until it comes up and it came right up here um, as we can see now th this looks so much better now we really have a tight uh, spreadsheet here we definitely need to clean up some more uh, to take out some of the unnecessary data, but we actually got the columns right where we wanted them. So that's great. Um, so let's go on and take a look at how we get rid of the unnecessary data. So I'm just going to close this down. And uh, under data man manipulation, that's where we uh, set up um, things like that. So I'm going to add a section here. I'm going to say we want to. Uh, remove a row and the, the keyword here is animals so it's just going to remove this entire row because it starts with animals I could also put page and it would uh, delete the row so we have to be careful not to delete any of this down here had I put duck it would have deleted this entire row so just be careful what you do here we can also ignore there's some settings here we can ignore the first uh, so and so many rows and then start deleting the rows. But uh, so there are lots of nice options here. The second one I want to delete is the copyright notice that you'll see down here. And so in order to do that, I'm going to add another one. Just remove row and copyright like this. Click OK. And let's take a look at the preview. 
it should come up uh, momentarily as you can see it takes a little while to to do it there it kind of came up and uh, as you can see now it's completely the way i wanted it i have all the data i wanted no uh, header no footer just the raw data and so this was actually exactly what i needed for this particular profile and so as i've saved it to a profile i would be able to next time i generate another animal list or column uh, columns that i want to move into excel i will be able to use this profile uh, just by selecting it from up here okay so i'm gonna try something uh, just so you can see how this cell position offset works uh, a little better uh, so i'm gonna take a look here again at my spreadsheet so if i turn this uh, down to 50 let's take a look at what happens uh, when i do that and uh, and uh, you will notice that we will get more columns out of it all right so let's move this down a little bit so we can see what happened so actually in this case um, the pony the dog and the raccoon has been uh, uh, separated now it actually saw these as two different columns and same with the chicken and the turtle over here it was not enough to make them into different columns it, they actually just kept the same columns as in when it was a when we had set it at a hundred so so that worked out pretty good uh, if you needed more columns if you actually needed to separate these uh, if you also need to separate these, we probably have to take it all the way down to 20. Uh, so let's take a look at how that works. And uh, the spreadsheet came out like this. And you see now that it's actually separating all the different words. Even seagull has been separated here. So that's, that's pretty special. Um, so if it if it's too low, it, it get it could get confusing. But maybe you wanted it to be two different words here, and that that's the way to do it. So just uh, remember that this uh, cell position offset that's the one you want to really work with when you are going to export anything into Excel uh, from any document. Okay, so that concludes this demonstration. Uh, just want to summarize some of the most important things uh, from the demonstration the cell position offset as you saw is the most important one that's actually the one that determines how much goes into each column um, we have some great options here to remove empty rows and columns and we have some data manipulation where we can remove rows and columns uh, there are also some other um, section types that i didn't uh, mentioned but you can clear a single cell or clear a whole area and uh, cells left and right and up and down so you you have all kinds of options here and it's just a matter of playing with it to make the excel spreadsheet uh, that you uh, want so i hope you enjoyed this demonstration and print to excel and uh, if you have any questions uh, you can send an email at uh, support at print to excel.com and we'll be happy to answer any questions you have. Thank you so much.